শুরু করাটা খুব নমস্কার শুভ সন্ধ্যা সকলকে জানাই আন্তরিক শুভেচ্ছা শুরু করছি আকাদেমি অফ ফোকলোর আয়োজিত ধীরেন্দ্রনাথ বাসকে স্মারক বক্তৃতা মালার সপ্তম পর্ব আজকের বক্তব্যের বিষয় সং অ্যাজ আর্টিফ্যাক্ট ম্যাপিং ট্র্যাডিশনাল সান্তালি সংস আজ বক্তা হিসাবে আমাদের সঙ্গে উপস্থিত আছেন ডক্টর রাহি সোরেন আমরা বক্তার নিকট বক্তব্য শুনে নেওয়ার আগে তার সম্পর্কে সংক্ষিপ্ত জেনে নেব ডক্টর রাহি সোরেন জুলজিতে স্নাতক করেছেন বেথুন কলেজ থেকে স্নাতকোত্তর ডিগ্রি অর্জন করেছেন কলিকাতা বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় থেকে দু হাজার সালে পিএইচডি ডিগ্রি লাভ করেছেন কলিকাতা বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় থেকে বর্তমানে যাদবপুর বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে স্কুল অফ ওসানোগ্রাফিক স্টাডিজের সহকারী অধ্যাপক পদে কর্মরত রিসোর্স ম্যাপিং দ্য আর্লি রেকর্ডিংস অফ ট্র্যাডিশনাল সান্থালি সংস শিরোনামে ভারত সরকারের রুসা ফান্ডের প্রজেক্টের সঙ্গে তিনি যুক্ত ছিলেন বর্তমানে লোকেটিং অ্যান্ড ডিজিটালাইজিং আর্লি সান্থালি পিরিয়ডিক্যালস পাবলিশড বিটুইন এইটিন নাইনটি অ্যান্ড নাইনটিন সেভেন্টি ফাইভ ইন ইস্টার্ন ইন্ডিয়া শীর্ষক প্রজেক্টের সঙ্গে যুক্ত বর্তমানে তিনি দ্য ওরাল হিস্ট্রি অ্যাসোসিয়েশন অফ ইন্ডিয়ার এক্সিকিউটিভ কমিটি মেম্বার সেভেন্থ ও এইচ এ আই কনফারেন্স টু থাউজেন্ড টোয়েন্টি টু অর্গানাইজিং কমিটির সঙ্গেও তিনি যুক্ত ছিলেন সাঁওতালি লোকসংস্কৃতির ঐতিহ্যের ডকুমেন্টেশন ও সংরক্ষণের সঙ্গে তিনি ওতপ্রোতভাবে দীর্ঘদিন যুক্ত আছেন স্বাগত জানাই আমাদের আজকের বক্তা অধ্যাপিকা ডক্টর শান্তি সোরেনকে ম্যাডাম থ্যাংক ইউ আচ্ছা আবার নাম রাহি সোরেন ভুল করে হয়তো শান্তি সোরেন বলেছেন প্রথমেই আমি বলে দিতে চাই যে আমি ইংরেজি এবং বাংলা চেষ্টা করব দুটোতেই বলার তো প্রধানত ইংরেজিতেই বলব কারণ সাঁওতালি বোধহয় অডিয়েন্স কম্প্যারেটিভলি কম আমি আমার স্ক্রিনটা শেয়ার করে নেব এবং চেষ্টা করব যতটা সম্ভব আমার যে অভিজ্ঞতা গান নিয়ে কাজ করার সেটা আপনাদের সাথে ভাগ করে নেব এবং যেহেতু আজকে বেশ ঝড় বৃষ্টি হয়েছে আমি আমার ভিডিও খাটা অফ করে রাখব যাতে কি না কোনো রকমের ইন্টারাকশন না শুরু করছি আশা করি দেখা যাচ্ছে আমার স্ক্রিনটা না ম্যাডাম স্ক্রিনটা দেখা যাচ্ছে না আচ্ছা আমি আরেকবার চেষ্টা করছি আরেকবার স্ক্রিনটা শেয়ার করুন ম্যাডাম এবার দেখা যাচ্ছে 
পারফেক্ট হ্যাঁ এবার দেখো হুম আজকে আমার বলার টপিক হচ্ছে সংস অ্যাজ আর্টিফ্যাক্ট ম্যাপিং ট্রেডিশনাল সালভারি সংস আমরা অনেকেই নানান জায়গায় গান শুনে থাকি এবং গান বিষয়ে নানান চর্চা অবশ্যই আমরা করে থাকি তো যখন আমি প্রথম কাজটা শুরু করার চেষ্টা করেছিলাম তখন আমার প্রধান প্রশ্ন ছিল যে আমাদের কি রিসোর্স আছে এবং আমাদের যদি কেউ গান নিয়ে চর্চা করতে চায় তো হোয়াট আর দ্য রেকর্ডিং দ্যাট আর প্রেজেন্ট সো দ্য ফার্স্ট ওয়ার্ক দ্যাট আই ওয়ান্ট টু ডু ওয়াজ টু ট্রাই অ্যান্ড ম্যাপ দ্য রিসোর্সেস দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ এবং যেরকম শান্তনুবাবু বললেন আমি একটি প্রজেক্টের প্রিন্সিপাল ইনভেস্টিগেটর ছিলাম এবং প্রজেক্টটি আপাতত দু বছর চলেছিল এবং আমরা চেষ্টা করি যতটা সম্ভব যেটুকু কাজ হয়েছে সেটাকে আরও এগিয়ে নিয়ে যাওয়া তো শুরু থেকে শুরু করতে গিয়ে সো দ্য ফার্স্ট থিং আই উড লাইক টু টক অ্যাবাউট ইজ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজেস সো কিছু মাস আগে আমাদের জাতীয় মাতৃভাষা দিবস গেছে ওয়ার্ল্ড ইন্টারন্যাশনাল মাদার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ডে গেছে এবং সেই সময় নানান রকমের আলোচনা উঠে এসেছিল যে আমাদের কটা ভাষা আছে বা আমরা ভাষাকে কিভাবে ডিফাইন করব সো লুকিং ইন টু ইট সো বেসিক্যালি দে ক্যান বি মেনি ওয়েজ টু ডিফাইন অর ক্যাটাগরাইজ হাউ মেনি ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজেস দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ সো আই মিন দের আর মেনি রিসোর্সেস and many definitions of it as well but what we try to do is look at uh, resources uh, edited resources the one of the most popular one these days is ethnolog where it documents 461 languages in india according to 2021 however we can always see that this number is somehow changing almost so like if you look at the people's linguistic survey of india in uh, 2014-2016 it documents 781 languages and again if we go to earlier recordings which was carried out by george grahat uh, abraham pearson he reported 179 languages and 544 dialects spoken in india so what makes a language different or what makes a dialect language so this is a perpetual question so i start with this very as uh, well as many of us know that uh, santali is a language spoken by many many people <laughs> precisely 7.5 million speakers throughout eastern india as well as sporadically in nepal and bangladesh however the the fact that santali is a language has been a challenge to the people speaking in the language it belongs to the munda family of languages and there has been many socio economic and historical political uh, conflicts in the past as well which uh, we will i don't have much uh, you know intention of sharing that in this platform but however it really makes a lot of difference where when we are talking about santali cultural heritage as it has mostly been transmitted orally and uh, and uh, it has been like since uh, the 1890s only that uh, it has been formed in written languages so coming to songs uh, this is a very favorite uh, quote that i'm sharing with you here song is the remembrance of the song sound as remembered experience song is the result not deliberate memorization but only of recollection it is the conscious phenomenalized aspects of the oral compositional process 
songs can be identified in traditional compositions as a plan of themes or a skeleton of narrative or a basic idea. But more simply, song is what the singer remembers as the truth. What I get from this is song has been used for colonial disposition and mapping has also been used by indigenous people as a tool for reclaiming, reimagining, and renewing indigenous connections to their traditional territories. In different uh, cultural resilience initiatives, indigenous mapping has supported intergenerational knowledge transfer within the communities of songs, stories, to reconnect indigenous people to the places where they come from and enable community protection of cultural sites. The thing that intrigued me is the absence of a compendium of the resources that we have had. अभिज्ञता so the first uh, objective what we chanced upon was to locate santali audio recordings held by any public archive as well as private collections across our nation and we also tried to make ex ex exhaustive digital catalog of all the holdings along with full bibliographical description and title page as well so uh, as far as we go into this lecture you will understand that how this bibliographical description and title page transcription has changed according to the people who had recorded it and their understanding of the song or the document that they are trying to uh, portray or archive so what we did was uh, we did a systematic study of the public public holdings and the extent of collection has been catalogued uh, of around 900 songs which dated from 1914 to 2005. Well, to be honest, uh, I had not expected uh, to get a recording of 1914 and I was really overjoyed when I found such, such a recording. So, আমরা যে যে গানগুলো পেয়েছিলাম তার মধ্যে কিছু গান আপনারা হয়তো শুনে থাকবেন গানের বিভিন্ন ধরনের গান গাওয়া হয় বিভিন্ন সময়ে বিভিন্ন অনুষ্ঠানে সেটা রিচুয়ালিস্টিক অনুষ্ঠানও হতে পারে আবার সেটা আমাদের কোনো ফেস্টিভ্যাল হতে পারে যেরকম বাহা সেরেন দং সেরেন দাসায় ছটিয়া সেরেন লাগরে সেরেন মাতওয়ার পাতা সহরাই দাহা ডান্টা কারাম লুহরি অ্যান্ড there has also been other uh, songs uh, which have not been specified or have not been uh, categorized into any songs. So these materials, as we saw, was a significant resource of oral literature. The transformation from oral to the written cultures, the interconnection between indigenous religions and Christianity as well. They have immense potential to provide primary research material for research to Santali scholars researching in, say, linguistics, folklore, folk songs, and specific cultural forms such as riddles, which are threatened in this era of globalization. They also reflect the voices of the minority in the digital era and helped generate a subaltern narrative of the contemporary political scenario which resulted in forced migration of the indigenous community. Especially this is true after the Santal Kuli of 1855, and uh, which at many a times has not been recognized as a revolution on, of, of independence. So looking back to the collections that we found here, 
uh, we chanced upon the 1914 recording, which was done by the Linguistic Survey of India. The Pruthum Ganti Amra recording Pechi, Sheti Amade George Abraham Gersoner, Purichalito, Linguistic Survey of India, Unisho Choto Shalom. So, who was this person? So he was a member of the Indian Civil Service and a linguist as well, who attended the 7th International Orient Congress held at Vienna in September 1886. He made a proposal regarding the linguistic survey, which was initially not approved by the government of India. However, he was really very persuasive. And then he was granted to record stories, songs, and poems collected by provincial and presidential government of the British rule in India, cooperating with the Gerson and the Gramophone Company of Calcutta. Amra Judi Shautali Gane Kothadiki, Tahuli Ikhane Pinte Diskamra Pechi. So one was basically categorized as a man spoken voice. Another one was marked Dal Shering, Dasha Shering in Santali. Well, as you might notice, the Dal Shering Bole Amade Shoshpiti Kichu Hoina, Shoshpiti Kichu Kintu Dong Shering Bole Hoy. So Ikhani Ikti Manijini Likhechen, Tini Shombhuvato, he made a mistake in writing the, down the song Ni. And another one was recorded as uh, Santali chant songs, where another song was recorded of the palpable of the prodigal son. So I will share the song with you here. So this is the song, uh, literally. And uh, let us hear this song a bit. please. Jodi Itami Amrape Silam Hutche Paris Ricti Archive Thicke Ebong Amade Deshe Eti document Akonopojunto in loan at Chain Dili Museum. But let us hear the song here. Mana Chapakia, Badilla, Karadar, so i'm sure you can look at the english translation here to amishita China. So, uh, the song was recorded from Chotuna Plateau Rati in 1914 and had, had been digitized by the University of Chicago Library and is freely available at the National Library of France Audiovisual Department, the Gallica web page, the link to the share the Well, Professor Barnard Cohen of the University of Chicago, who had actually worked in these documents he shares his thoughts that for the historians the recording are 
an aspect as the creation of the colonial forms of knowledge. This statement is very much pertinent in the songs mentioned. In the absence of the context or the understanding of the Santan creation myth, the song does not appeal to the listener. The song refers to the Jomshin Binti, which is one of the most pivotal institutions of the Santals connected with the recitation of, quote unquote, the history of the world from the creation and through the ages. Among the Santals, the creation, the recitation of creation story uh, is passed on in Dintis, undertaken by specialists known as the Karambus, also occurred at the number of festivals generally named Karam and at the life cycle rituals such as the Chacho Chatya, the ritual purifications of initiation of children as a person of the Santal society, at marriage and at the time of performance of the final Santal mortuary ritual, which is the Bhada. In accordance to the Santal myth of creation, earth was all but sea and any life form had gone in it. So uh, I will refrain myself from uh, inflicting upon the uh, myth with you. I'm sure you can find the myth uh, yourself. And uh, I, I will look into it uh, critically where uh, the myth was recorded uh, that we see here was recorded partially, all the more making it difficult for the listener to comprehend. Pearson's objective was to collect a speaking quote unquote sample from the natives, as Jadev, Javed Masti in his book says, Colonialism and Knowledge in Garrison's Linguistic Survey of India, states Garrison's fear, though, was a distinctive one of being caricatured, and his aim was to buttress the colonial auditory order. Further, he argues, Garrison structured the recordings content hierarchically. The recordings being with the man in charge of the apparatus reciting in English the speaker's name, caste, age, village, the location, and date of the recording, the name of the language, and the subject matter of the disc. This hierarchy is further evident in the preference for a quote unquote native who has no, no quote unquote no theories and who again quote reads aloud as natural as possible. For the recordings. However, in an interview uh, with indigenous scholar Dr. W. Shorin, opined that an ancient binti has been recorded in 1914, though partially it is an important documentation since audio recordings of such performance are a rare occurrence of its time. However, conservative the culture of the recording was, the service openness to the difficulties of delineating individual particulars whether language or human individuals, the recordings were meant to overcome the inadequacy of the written word, but they led back to the written word of transcripts again. Iti mulo to bola jete pare hoy chilo karun bhasha na janar purishor ibo sheta hoy to jante chawa ba jante na parar ekta abusta theke. So so when we look at these songs and how it has it been recorded and how it has been preserved so there are a couple of other things that also has to be kept in mind so uh, moving on to my uh, next found so to say was by the british musicologist uh, arnold Park. गानेशना ग्रामे गंजे अनुष्ठान रेकर्ड कर चटकर शुने लेब आर्नल बाकिर कलेक्शन थे के सो इफ यू गो टू द ब्रिटिश लाइब्रेरी वेबसाइट हियर सो इट इट्स वेरी इजीली फाउंड कैटलॉग कोरे रखा आ चें विभिन्नो भाषा भाषी विभिन्नो डेटेड कलेक्शन एवं इट्स अ ह्यूज आर्काइव सो वन कैन एक्चुअली एक्सप्लोर अ लॉट हियर सो 
according to location like ekhane ramu shantini ke tarun er paowa jay jharkhand er paowa jay right so and you can actually listen to the recordings uh, free ajke je ti shonabo sheti hocche amader bish purono ekti gaan boge gupito eta ami shonabo ebong etar er pore alochona korte chai Coming back to my presentation, uh, well, uh, the Bernal Phonograph Archive had loaned a phonograph and cylinders to Arnold Bahi in 1930, and had also stayed regularly in touch with him, instructed him, instructing him about the modalities of the recording uh, mission. In a letter to Bahi, Paul Sebastian wrote, "Recordings of the quote unquote the primitive tribes in the mountains would be specifically well." In reply to his letter on 19th November 1930, Bakke reassured the archivist that it goes without saying that I will use the cylinders for the purpose you specify. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to record some our music. After that, perhaps the music of the beads. In the letter to his mother, written on 19th January 1927. and oh, this has been collected from the arnold bakke archive the special collections uh, translated from dutch uh, bakke wrote we had plenty of time to go to the santals who were dancing feverish we fetched miss von pot who were supposed to come for dinner anyway and four of us went to the village next door this time it was only the woman who danced the men with the exception of three or four drummers were nowhere to be seen I suspect that most of them were actually drunk because it is their annual fest in which they blew their brew their own alcohol. It was also quite a bit too much. The whole village smelled of it. But the women were extremely quiet. A long row of about 10 12 of them holding hands, swaying their hips in the music, stepping forward and coming back. It was an extremely fascinating sight. About 3 drummers jumped to and fro in front of them. like cockroaches signaling them changes in the figure with the rhythm there was not much change actually just a break in the men thing when the whole row had sung very far ahead one of the drummers suddenly rushed in at at a very rapid pace they would then all lean forward and for for a moment did not hold each other again but clapped their hand close to the ground stepping back step by step then all of a sudden they all stood up again and turned slowly on their axes clapping their hands above their head then they hugged each other again and slow swing began well uh, and 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 at, at at the end he writes about about uh, little boy monkeys uh, jumped around and initiated everything they did apparently uh, there there doesn't seem to be of uh, you know his his view of on his understanding of the songs that he had recorded in them so but uh, so far down the line when we look at it so uh, we tend to question of uh, his understanding of uh, what the song was and either he understood the song uh, as su- supposedly the uh, santals who were swaying and dancing and merrying in the village so uh, i also would like to uh, talk about um, the other song that has been recorded here eta hocche ekti 
রেল গাড়ি যখন তৈরি করা হচ্ছে রেলের ট্র্যাক যখন তৈরি করা হচ্ছে সেই সময়কার একটি লেবার সং বলা যেতে পারে সো দিস ইজ নাওয়া নাওয়া রেল গাড়ি নাওয়া নাওয়া গাড়ি কয় গায় চালা গায় চালা গায় শুনু মায় সেঙে লাই লাগা হয় কয়লা কয়লা গাড়ি চালা আসেছে so the the new the new train the new the new train how does the train run it takes oil it takes coal uh, it is how the train runs well though i had translated it into uh, the essence of the song is uh, not necessarily uh, captured in the um, you know translation i'm sorry to say that but uh, well it's like uh, the 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 train is uh, breathing fire and uh, rather you know feeding on the oil that uh, it is been given so uh, this song talks about the newly formed railway tracks uh, where the santals worked as daily laborers who witnessed their then new and improvised communication system the railways the song also hints into the amaz- amazement of the locals of dumka where the song was recorded and the deprived economic and social status of the indigenous adivasi of the region is reflected in this song so uh, there are other songs as well who uh, talks about uh, uh, the changing scenario the infliction of uh, the uh, the british east india company the raj and all and uh, it also talks about drought uh where uh, i'm really thankful to moshumi bhomik uh, where he uh, where she uh, uh talks about uh, her understanding of the songs and uh, what will come to a, a bit uh, of of uh, according to her work a bit later but uh, she states and i quote from her thesis here the colonial archives were not interested in this india which was in its moment of encounter with europe and was changing even if filled recorders were in a certain place at a moment of change the instructions was that they should record things about to change that which was quote unquote in danger and on the verge of disappearance it is now being attempted to re- reintroduce this dwindling culture and uh, uh, well this i had uh, enlisted the different uh, recordings santali recordings by bakke which is available at the british archive where you can see uh, there are songs like um, the aboge dupler lagre song and there are some songs as well which are um, uh, you know which were which bakke recorded but not necessarily included because it was uh, quote and quote thought to be uh not traditional but more uh, missionary hymn kind of songs as well so yeah so when one looks into the bakke archive this is how uh, it is presented and uh, they are uh, the, the most of the recordings uh, were done in wax cylinders and it is publicly available as of now so uh, moving on to my next count here uh, this is uh, kali dash gupto oniki uh, kali dash gupto dhani sathe porichito uh, kintu um, akoshik bhabe amader ekhane uh, jadupur bishwabidyalaye school of cultural texts and records jat theke onupranito hoye ami ei kaj ta shuru korechilam to uh, unader kache um, kali dash guptor besh onek gulo collection royeche besh kichu ghontar collection royeche ebong uh, আমার মনে প্রশ্ন জাগে যে এখানে কি কোনো সাঁতেলি গান আছে তো তখন আমি এটার মধ্যে দেখতে দেখতে অনেকগুলো গানের মধ্যে খুঁজতে খুঁজতে আমি কালিদাস গুপ্তর কিছু কালেকশন পাই এবং ওনার কালেকশনটা আমি উনিশশো সত্তরের সময় সময়কার রেকর্ডিং দেখছি এটা এটা ছাড়াও বেসিক্যালি আমরা যখন আরও আরও খোঁজ করলাম উনিশশো পঞ্চাশ উনিশশো 
musicologist. Uh, we all know about him. And he had exten extensively uh, collected, recorded, uh, categorized. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, incomplete if you do not uh, mention Devin Bhattacharya here. So, uh, this is the first time I have been able to do this. I have been able to do this. I have been able to দুঃখদায়ক কথা আমি বলি এখানে সেখানে অনেক জায়গায় আমরা অনেক সময় এরকম আমরা দেখেছি যে একটি ক্যাসেট রেকর্ডিং এর উপর বেশ কিছুবার আরো দু তিনবার রেকর্ডিং হয়ে গেছে তো এটা নিশ্চয়ই তখন ক্যাসেট কম পড়েছিল বা কিছু সেই জন্য এরকম একটি কাজ করা হয়েছিল কিন্তু সেই জন্য বেশ কিছু তথ্য বিলুপ্ত হয়েছে বলে আমাদের so, ওখানে যারা যাদের সাথে আমরা কথা বলেছিলাম তো তারা এই জিনিসটা আমাদের বলেছিলেন যে তাদের তারা সেইভাবে এই কাজটা করেছে সো তাও আমরা বেশ কিছু রেকর্ডিং স্পেশালি আকাশবাণী কলকাতা থেকে এবং আকাশবাণী বেহমপুর থেকে আমরা এবং রাঁচি থেকে আমরা সংগ্রহ করতে পেরেছি সো Coming to the traveling archive, this is very interesting work. What uh, folk archive she had also been to the places where the Bakri had collected the recordings. And the very interesting thing that she did was here. Uh, is to play back the songs that were recorded to the community that were residing uh, in this time. So, so my contention was also uh, chimed with a bit of uh, the work that Moshe did was to try and understand what kind of uh, perception that the people hold who were like recorded uh, so many years ago. So while some indigenous people feel that many of the recordings should perhaps not have been taken in the first place, others believe that with the Tina state of Santali songs, language and ceremony, they are now of great value to the community for preservation of culture, as well as being a meaningful resource for the continuation of existing and new forms. The fact that they have been quote unquote reclaimed gives a presence in the Santal community as a highly valued and important cultural property of the community that has been returned. This repertoire recording has been the focus of close study from the point of view of its historical, cultural, social, and artistic significance and their return as a substantial positive and empowering outcome of elders as they share the knowledge of future generations. However, this idea has its share of critical analysis as well. The Santal mission began as a Baptist home mission in tribal British India in the late 1860s. It developed in a transatlantic, Lutheran, Enlightenment-oriented pastoral movement in the late pioneer era with ardent supporters in India, England, Scotland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, and America. The founder members, Prefrud, handed over large literary responsibilities to the gifted theologian, Paul Olaf Godin, which, while serving as a district missionary, in their zeal to preach, quote unquote, good news to the people of the Santal primal religion, the Scandinavian missionary Christian preachers of their time communicated the opposite, vilifying the indigenous worldview and spirituality. Rather than giving a true witness of the primal religion, they are more, quote unquote, false witness against it. Boding and his competitors, uh, sorry, contemporaries, influenced by their interpretation of Christian theology, identified the Santal's most revered spiritual being, Marang Buru Boga, with the Christian understanding of Satan. 
This greatest theological error first finds concrete documentation and visibility in Bodin's Kukli Puthi and the hymn books and in many Santali Christian songs of that period. According to Santali uh, theologist Timotheus Hemran, uh, this has been a very uh, you know, critical in understanding uh, how the what how or what was the understanding of the uh, Christians, uh, missionaries who had come to India and uh, tr tried to quote unquote uplift the people living here. So uh, I will uh, wrap up in a bit here. So there has been other works uh, in this regard as well, where uh, people talk about uh, artifacts and how can songs be uh, regarded as artifacts here, uh, a work by the National Museum of Australia that we see, a, and I quote from Campbell, the equivalence of songs with paintings and artifacts as items of cultural and artistic heritage and as physical quote unquote ownable objects become clear to my TV colleagues over the course of the week. And I'm certain that this has, has an ongoing effect of the ways the Peruvian recordings are regarded amongst the TV community. So what he did was uh, work with the TV community and did similar works that Moshumidi did, where uh, he went, Campbell went in and uh, communicated with indigenous people over there and tried to uh, give them songs and record their reactions of that time and understand what does an archive mean and uh, to see if there can be a shared ownership of the recordings that they have, uh, many people have many years ago. So uh, in uh, conclusion, when we uh, talk at archive as collective memory uh, is also uh, something we need to look at according to the community participation, where new media cultures has turned memory into a prosthetic tool for reconfiguration of history as well. So there has been many archivists, historians, musicologists, academicians who have documented these. And but the understanding of uh, uh, recordings of indigenous uh, people uh, is, is is simply uh, incomplete without the context or the cultural understanding of the people who are performing uh, in the field as well. So at present, uh, several indigenous communities have taken upon themselves to document their own cultural heritage and create database of electronic resources such as articles, e-books, government publications. Uh, if you look at uh, different um, web pages now, uh, one of the first web pages that uh, came up were known as We Santals, and uh, it, it did a fantastic job. Uh, well, now it is not as much updated, but uh, it, it does a lot of uh, awareness building. And uh, I think it's important to communicate much more uh, in uh, transcultural ways to be able to try and understand the other, if I may say so. So uh, in accordance to uh, that as well, so there are other projects, uh, the sound project, the documentation program in Australia, in New Zealand, uh, the Maori, Amrabesh Ki Chweglo, Kaito Atodini Jenechi, Ebong Canada Tui Thornir Prochishta Kukure Asha Hoche. So oral documentation uh, practices, I mean, these are all traditions which are threatened. Uh, uh, if we are as archivists uh, are not or unable to uh, keep them or document them uh, so perhaps the knowledge that is embedded within the uh, the songs the stories the narrations are uh, are uh, somehow endangered in, in so many ways so so, so, so to bring us back to the notion of a performance and a song, uh, which is trapped in the recording, which then becomes an artifact, which is kind of owned by the collector. So ownership has also been something that uh, has been questioned across countries, across generations, even, uh, uh, well, not talking about songs, even like when we look at
the collection that is present in the Oslo archive. Perhaps, um, you know, it's it's a huge repository and one can, it's almost 30,000 pages of, uh, uh, you know, cultural documents that he had done in, uh, while being in India for more than 40 years. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, J community Rokoruni Kaj Kore Gilin, she she community Manushuna Sheta access for them fine. But uh, on the bright side, uh, the boarding archive has been able to digitize most of it uh, according to their web page. And Akun uh, Amra Chile She Archive Likha Ibun Shikane um Shikane Tutu Amra so the importance of archive is like immense and uh, i hope we have much more engagement uh, with this uh, i end my lecture here uh, in it, this lecture will not be complete without uh, giving my sincere regards to the school of cultural text and records jadavpur university to Omlanda, Omlanda Ashkutto, who is retired professor of English at Jadhapur University, Professor Shukanta Chodhuri, again from Jadhapur University. And of course, uh, scholars, global scholars such as uh, Murray uh, from uh, Paris, uh, Peter Anderson from uh, Copenhagen, and they have been really very encouraging. Uh, and of course, Tony Blee, who is from the Norway and has worked from the with the voting archive, uh, and of course Rusa who had funded this project, and uh, last but definitely not the least, Shantanuda the host for this evening here. Thank you. Onik onik dhutnupad, adhapika Dr. Rahi Shorenke. তারি বিশ্লেষণাত্মক তথ্য সমৃদ্ধ আলোচনার জন্য সাঁওতালি গান ও সেই গানের সংরক্ষণ সম্পর্কে আমরা অনেক কিছু অজানা তথ্য আপনার কাছে জানতে পারলাম যা আমাদের সমৃদ্ধ করলো একাডেমি অফ ফোকলোরের এই আরো অন্যান্য অনুষ্ঠানেও আপনাকে আমরা পাশে পাব এই আশা রাখলাম ধন্যবাদ জানাই সমগ্র অনুষ্ঠানটাকে সুষ্ঠুভাবে সম্পূর্ণ করার জন্য প্রযুক্তি নিয়ন্ত্রণের সঙ্গে যুক্ত সকলকে শুভরাত্রি